All right, so hi guys, uh, my name is Martin, I'm from Sweden and I love to tinker in my spare time. So uh, what you see behind me here is my Fiat 2012 uh, Turbo, uh, Fiat Coupe 2012 Turbo. And the time has come for it to be uh, converted into an uh, EV. Uh, so this is an EV conversion. Uh, the car uh, has originally, I think, uh, 220 horsepower, and it is um, uh, pretty light, so the performance is, is very good, uh, but the engine is uh, knocking and smoking a bit, so this is the time to, to really uh, make it perform again. Uh, the plan is to use the small Tesla front uh, engine, or the uh, small back engine, uh, they're pretty much almost identical and also to use a Kia Soul uh, EV battery because they're pretty um, they can deliver pretty much the power, all the power that that little engine can put out which is around 200 kilowatts so this car will perform again and uh, the first part here is to remove the petrol engine. So that's what I'm starting to do now. So here you can see the original engine. Uh, I have removed the battery. It was here somewhere and some of the pipes to the intercooler, which is here in the left wing. Uh, but it is a pretty tight fit here. And uh, uh, it's uncertain if it, it want to come out on the top or if I have to drop it all down on the floor here and lift raise the car up and remove the engine from underneath so that remains to be seen but uh, what I'm going to do now is to remove the the under plate uh, under the engine there's a big plastic sheet under the engine so that's what I'm going to do first so after crawling around the car for a minute the under tray is now finally off the car and it did actually have a few surprises let's see one bolt was there deep sockets that i've been looking for <laughs> so yeah it, it did also reveal i'm not sure if you can see it here but no you can't okay so let's see from underneath then <laughs> did reveal a pretty substantial oil leak and I'm really not sure uh, where that's coming from but I don't care because the engine is going out so yeah and also there's not too much room from under here either to to remove the engine so I'm not sure if I perhaps I can remove the gearbox and have like a jack under the engine so it doesn't drop on the right side and remove the gearbox from below here and then pick up the motor from up under the hood perhaps also a bit of yeah italian car flair but this besides this and a few other places this car is in pretty good condition underneath as you see here it's not besides from some surface rust it's not and perhaps that is because the the engine has its own uh, undercoating system which uh, flies the oil flies back from the engine leaks and just coats the whole um, undercarriage in oil so it doesn't rust maybe that's the plan But on closer inspection here, you can also see that it's leaking coolant. This here is like, it's hard to see maybe on camera, but it is, yeah, blue, green, bluish color. So, as I said before, I don't really care, but I feel even better for doing this now because obviously there are plenty of leaks. So I'm just going to try to explain the thought process behind uh, mounting the Tesla engine here. 
So as you probably see, there is no steering shaft in front here or under the sump because it is uh, at the very rear uh, of the uh, engine compartment. So that's really good. I wasn't sure about that, but that makes it possible for me to use the uh, Tesla small rear engine because that's a bit lower. Uh, it sits lower in the engine bay. Uh, so it would, uh, so I have more room for batteries over the engine in the engine compartment. So that's good. Uh, also, the the thing I'm going to try is to reuse the outer part of the Fiat drive axle and uh, cut it in the middle and join it with a Tesla uh, drive uh, shaft, uh, which is also cut somewhere. <laughs> I'm not sure if it's in the middle, but uh, so that's how uh, the, the powertrain is going to look. And the Tesla small front unit or small rear unit uh, is very compact and it has the inverter built in as well. So it's uh, it's going to be a lot of room around that uh, when this hunk of metal is out and the Tesla engine is in, which I haven't bought yet, but uh, it is the plan to buy that. Uh, the car also comes with uh, a standard with uh, pretty nice Brembos in the front. So I think the stopping power is there. Uh, even if we increase the power a bit. So next is to remove all the... Yeah, it's a nest up there. Uh, remove all the cables and... Um, not cables really. Uh, all the um, hoses and everything up there. And uh, drain the radiator. Which it seems to do itself, but... It's a bit, sorry for the uh, unfocused here, but uh, it drips in my forehead when I'm under the car. So I think that it empties itself, but it's too slow. So I'm going to help it on the way and empty the radiator so I can get that out. And that will gain me much more room under it to work. Um, also, if I didn't say that, the turbo is uh, zero, has zero miles on it. So... Uh, the, the previous turbo was uh, bad and I exchanged that and I'm not really sure if I messed up but perhaps I did because this one hasn't ever really worked. It smokes a lot. Uh, it smoked on the first startup so perhaps I did something wrong but I, I think I, I'm not I don't think so. I think it's probably a head gasket or something else because uh, yeah it really smokes and smells oil a lot when you start it so. This is uh, the latest creation here. This is an electric motorbike or moped or whatever you will. It's, uh, it has like five or six kilowatts and it is powered by two uh, or one split uh, module from a Mitsubishi Outlander um, PU or plug-in hybrid. So that is about... I think it's 65 volts there and they can deliver like 500 amps. So it's, uh, yeah, it's pretty quick and really fun. And I've tried to make it look like a uh, cafe racer style and it's not really finished yet, but uh, this now is a much bigger project and more expensive, um, unfortunately. So yeah. So I think that's it for part one of this uh, video series. It's going to take a lot of time and I'm not going to rush this. Uh, I've done that before and it ended badly. So I'm just going to enjoy the process and uh, hopefully soon get the engine removed out of, out of the car. Uh, and then start to measure and measure and measure and see where I can place the batteries and the engine, uh, the mo electric motor, not the engine. Uh, and everything like that. So that's the next phase. But hopefully um, I'm going to get the engine out soon. So that's that's perhaps in the next episode. If there will be a next episode. Alright. Thanks. Bye.